sure how the fuck they got up there. This is fucking huge. <laughs> It has to be certain on top, right? Move, dog. Can we just leave because that's hey, fucking douche. You douche. No, fuck. I'm going to punch the fucking monitor. I swear to God. There, trying to shoot the fucking thing. Yeah, 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 I knew something would be up here. Hell yeah. All right, now I have to go back down the bottom. Bottom. I'm pretty sure we've missed a few guys on the other side of the factory, which you need to go kill. But I'll do those off camera, and then we'll fast travel back to the place and hand in the quest that we came to this place in the first place for. Soul away. <laughs> All right, we are to report our success and best hope for a bloody good reward. You find those raiders? Uh huh. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Uh, you don't appear to have any money. Hmm. Alright, uh, do, 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 ah, go to our quests, I suppose.
Where's that? Yeah, it's further south from that. Right, we'll do that later. Let us go to Sanctuary. While we're here, we can set up my fucking electricity. I don't know. I, I can tell that. See? I need a better generator. Alright guys, I uh, got my fan and my light and my TV and my light in the kitchen now, lighting all that up. We'll play around with it later, I don't have any copper so we can't set the rest of it up. But eventually I'd like to have an antenna on this building here and like beef up that as much as I can. And have a uh, copper wire leading from that thing to that thing there. And then maybe another one leading to the next door, perhaps. But uh, that's all eventually. For now, I'll go talk to this guy and say that I've done his thing. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. It'll get more and more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. So... There's something I need to ask you. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? No. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. All right. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. My own I feel like this is a whole me. new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. General? I like it. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last minute man is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. And you want me to deal with it. I'll mark it on your map. We'll find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. Hey. Is there something you need? 
How are you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor. After all the help you gave me. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. No, nothing. No problem. All right, awesome. That is that, I suppose. How does that guy keep getting on the roof? I think this calls for a shotgun. Calm for uh, the amount of chaos we are inflicting. You're welcome. Excuse me. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. This would be much easier for both of us if you'd cooperate. Now, where are you from? Yeah, you don't need to know that. I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you, really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I hope it doesn't piss off the Inclave or anyone else. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Let's 
Sorry hey, about shooting you, Batman. Take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Field scribe Halen, personal log entry, 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. Uh -huh. Question, what exactly am I supposed to be resupplying myself with? Think you're some kind of hot shot? Why are you so angry with me? I'm not angry. I'm just letting you know where you stand. You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. Really? I don't believe I'm getting paid. If that's what you think. Damn right it is. Now why don't you run off and see if Top needs you to do anything else? I don't recall I'm getting paid. Hi. Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? Paladin dances waiting for you. Bang! Uh, Probably to steal brains all over the place. Helen might only be a scribe, but she can kick some serious ass. I wouldn't mess with her if I were you. Ooh, handcuffs. Don't ask me what they're for, that's none of your concern. are coming. They sure are taking their sweet time. Hey, if Paladin Dan says they're coming, then they're coming. We just need to hold out a while longer. I don't know, Halen. We've lost half our squad already. Even with this new guy helping. I hope we can stay alive long enough for them to get here. We'll make it, big guy. We'll make it. Mine.
Man, oh man. That was a oh, hell yeah. of a fight, wasn't it? Watch those barrels get blown apart was the best thing I've seen in weeks. Has anyone ever told you that you're a bloodthirsty maniac? <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that you have the cutest little smile when you try to get angry? Nice try, Reese. Nice try. Alright, now that we are done successfully looting the shit out of this place. Sorry about the other guys. Why are you cutting me so much slack? I'm a medic. Call it my bedside manner. Look, it may not seem like it, but Dance is a good man. He's just all soldier. Protocol is his bread and butter. And Reese? Well, let's just say he's as hard headed as a Mr. Gutsy. But you know what? I trust both of them with my life. Because they're good people. And that's hard to come by nowadays. Halen? You better get a move on. It's not a good idea to keep Paladin Dance waiting. Alright. Let's go help these idiots and hope that it doesn't bite me in the ass. I, did, I didn't tell them where our... Uh, where my shit was from. Because I don't want the Brotherhood kind of knowing where I am. <laughs> What? What? So where the fuck are we going? <sighs> no, he was inside. I thought he was. Bloody thing wasn't tracking the quest. Dance? You ready to move out? Why establish an outpost at the police station? Given the nature of the facility, we felt it would be tactically advantageous to search it for weapons and ammunition. The radio tower on the roof was an unexpected boon, but it obviously has its shortcomings that need to be rectified. It might not be as imposing as the Citadel back in the Capital Wasteland, but it suits our purposes. That's all I'm willing to divulge at this point. Are you ready to proceed with the mission? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me. And try not to lag behind. Should I know power armor goes first? Assuming that you have the capability to get past my door. Up to me, 
I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. As you say. Ah, the bit of yep. Alright, I finished looting the dead corpses, let's do this. First things first though. Kill the paladin now, steal his power armor and all his stuff. <laughs> Say so. Well, by all means. No, I'll go in first, am I? Yeah, it's not like you have power armor and I don't. 